it's Nadia from the Mohole. Today I'm here because we are going to make a Rudy bonnet together. This gorgeous little bonnet um, I designed about a year and a half ago and it's become one of my most popular patterns so I wanted to do this video to show you exactly how you can make it yourself. So go to my blog which is themolehole.com and search for Rudy Bonnet. There you have all the stitch counts and everything you need to follow along. There are five sizes, zero to three months, um, three to six, six to 12, one to two years and three to five years. In the video we're going to be making the smallest size but you can make whichever size you'd like and the technique is going to be the same. I also just wanted to show you that there is a matching cardigan. This is called the Rudy cardigan. You can purchase this um, on my website, my shop website, which there is a link through the blog, but it's shopthemohole.com. And um, there is not a full tutorial on this, but there are some little videos within the pattern to help you along. And once you do the bonnet, you'll be very familiar with the technique. And just know I'm always here if you wanna send me an email to ask any questions. So without further ado, let's get started on the bonnet today. The yarn I'm using today is Paintbox Yarns, um, Simply DK in the color Light Caramel. And um, it's a really um, affordable yarn in the pattern that you may be following along with on my blog, I used Rico Baby Classic, which is also a great yarn. I have my four millimeter hook. And before you do this, you have to make sure that you've done a gauge swatch to um, determine whether the yarn and hook you have are going to be the correct um, materials for the gauge in the um, the pattern. So I will link below to a really good resource that you can read about a gauge swatch if you do not know that. But I'm assuming at this point you already have your gauge swatch done and there are 19 stitches and 12 rows measuring 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches. So this is, um, we're going to get started now. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to leave a long tail to sew up the back of our bonnet later. So I'm going to just leave about that much maybe a little more. It's always better to leave more than not enough. So there's my tail and I'm gonna do a slip knot. So I curve around my thumb and then I just pull this underneath so that we have this slip knot and then that's where our hook will go in. So I'm making the small size today I will be chaining 54 stitches. You may be chaining a different amount if you are doing a different size. And just remember, you can follow along on my blog, um, which I will link below. This is the Rudy Bonnet. So I'm gonna chain 54 stitches. So to make a chain, we yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over, and pull through, yarn over, and pull through, yarn over, and pull through. So that is what our chain is gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish up my 54 chains and I'll be back when we start on row one. I have completed my 54 chains here and now I'm going to be working my first half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Okay, so this is 
um, the loop that's on my hook. This is the first chain from my hook. This is the second. And then here is the third. So one, two, three. Now to do a half double crochet, we um, um, yarn over, sorry, I lost my words, and you put your hook into the chain. And, and the chain has um, these, this top loop, and that is where I'm gonna work into. There's actually three parts. There's the top loop, there's the bottom loop, and then there's this like back bump. But right now I'm going to be working into that top loop there. So I'm going to just go under that top loop into the chain and that's where we will be working the whole time. So I've pulled up a loop and now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Do that again. Yarn over into this, the chain. Pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three. So this is our half double crochet. And if you continue on doing my patterns, half double crochet is my favorite stitch. So it's one of the, one of the stitches you'll have to know well. So we have yarn over into the chain, to that top loop, we pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So what you're gonna do is you will work half double crochets all the way to the end of this starting chain. So you, I will have a total of 52 half double crochets and um, you may have more if you're doing a larger size. Um, this is two stitches less than our chain because we worked into the third chain from the, from the um, hook. So go on and finish this and then I'm gonna um, see you at row two. I'm on the very last stitch of this um, first row and I just wanted to show you because if you are a beginner sometimes it's quite confusing where this last stitch is. So if you can see right by my thumb that is our starting, that was our slip knot at the beginning. Um, so we do not work into that one. And I'm gonna just work into this last chain stitch here. So you can see that is not a chain, that was our slip knot. Um, and then I'm gonna work my last half double crochet. So now I have a total of 52 half double crochets you should um, make sure that you count because if you don't have the correct number, we're gonna, um, it's, all your counts are gonna be off from now on. So um, make sure you have the correct number of stitches here. And if you don't, you might have to just start over again. That's part of learning. Um, frogging is your friend. So, in this pattern, my row one says wrong side. So that means that this part that's facing me is gonna be the inside of the bonnet. That is, like, if you think of your clothes, the, the inside where the tag is and the outside. So the inside where the tag is would be the wrong side. And the right side is the outside of the clothes. So this is gonna be the wrong side of the bonnet. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you um, what I always do is I always mark which side is going to be my right side because then it's so much easier. So we are going to have to turn. So I'm going to turn my work so that now we're going to be working along here. And to be honest, this is actually re quite reversible, but they do look slightly different and I liked um, I liked this way better as the right side. So now the right this is going to be the right side facing us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the right side of my work. So now I always know here that this is the right side. 
So we're going to start and we're going to chain two because I'm going to be making my row two. So I chain two. This um, makes the height of the next row um, taller. And what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into the first stitch. So in, in my patterns, I never use a chain as a, um, as a starting, as a stitch. So this does not count as a stitch. I'm going to work a double crochet into that first, that first stitch there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yarn over into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to do these crossover double crochet stitches. So I'm going to skip the first, or not the first, this is going to be the next stitch. And I'm going to double crochet into this next or the third stitch of the row. So yarn over into that third stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we still have this stitch that we've missed. Now I'm going to go back now and I'm going to I'm going to double crochet into that stitch that I just missed. So yarn over back into the stitch we missed, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now you can see that has that little, um, these two double crochets are crossed over each other. And we're going to continue doing that the whole way along. So you skip the next stitch and you work into the next. So double crochet into that stitch. Yarn over. Go back and double crochet into the skipped stitch. Show you one more time. So skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next one. Now, I'm going to assume that you do have an idea of these of these stitches, and we are now just putting them together. Um, so let's go back into the skipped stitch. We did the yarn over into the skip stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So you will do this um, all the way across for row two. And then when you get to the very last stitch, it will be just a double crochet on its own. So for these, um, for this row two, We'll always start and we'll always end on just a single um, double crochet and all the rest will be crossovers. So I will come back and see you um, on the next row. I have completed my second row. You can see here again I have this is marked as the right side so this is going to be the side that's facing outwards and not touching the head and um, I just wanted to say one thing about this these um, row twos where you're crossing over the double crochets just make sure you don't um, loosen up your um, tension too much because I've noticed like it's it's really easy to um, make these a bit too loose especially when you're skipping and going backwards. So just keep the tension on that um, quite tight so that it's, you have a really nice, these really nice neat stitches when you're finished. So I'm moving now on to row three. I'm going to turn my work so that we're, we're working back again um, down this way and we're working on the wrong side. And I'm going to just chain one for this row because we are working with just half double crochet stitches and um, I'm going to half double crochet 
into every stitch along this row. So I will go yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops, and we'll go into each and every stitch across the bonnet. So as we continue the pattern, all you need to do is repeat the rows two and three. So you will alternate from half double crochet rows to the rows of the um, crossed double crochet, crochet stitches. And we will move, we are working out, out this way to make a, the width of the bonnet. And then we will be folding it in half. And then we will be sewing up the back. So I'm gonna leave you to that and I will be back when I've completed the width of my uh, body bonnet. So see you in a bit and enjoy your um, re repeating your rows two and three. I have finished the bonnet body now, as you can see. Um, for the size I'm making, it needed to be six centimeters or six um, inches or about 15 centimeters, which is where I'm at. Um, your size may have a different measurement. Um, well, if you're doing a bigger size, it's going to be a bit longer this way. Now, I want to just make you aware of something and you're not doing anything wrong. Do you see how there's a bit of a slant to the bonnet? The reason for this is we have um, these double crochets on every second row and they are slanting one way. So it kind of pulls the whole um, bonnet onto a bit of a slant. I've seen some work done um, with this bonnet and it's really, really bad. Mine isn't too bad, but the reason mine isn't bad is um, because before, remember when I said you need to keep your tension quite tight on these, um, these half double, crossed half double, half, half double, sorry, oh my gosh, on these crossed double crochet rows. And this is the reason. So at the, this point, what I would recommend doing is I would recommend blocking it and you will be able to get it just a little bit more um, square or rectangular, I should say. Mine isn't that bad. So I don't, you know what, I don't think I am going to, I'm just going to pull it a little bit and I'm going to sew the back closed and it's going to look beautiful. But if yours has ended up quite a bit more slanted, I would, I would definitely block it to get the shape of the um, rectangle just a little bit better. All right, so as you can see, I've ended on a half double crochet row, which is a wrong side row. Remember our stitch marker is marking where the right side is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half so that the right side is on the inside like this. Okay. So this is the wrong side facing me and the right side is on the inside. We're going to leave our working yarn here because we are going to have to use it again in a minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the back of the bonnet, um, the ends of the bonnet together. So I do have a needle here somewhere. There it is. I like to use just a mattress stitch, which is very simple. And um, I'm gonna do my very best to line up each um, stitch. The yeah, sorry, are they stitches? Yes, they're stitches, not rows. Okay, so I'm going to go through my first stitch here and go through the first stitch on that side and pull through and then we're going to come back um, from the other side and go through the two stitches. 
so just going back and forth like that now all the way up the back of the bonnet okay so just continue that all the way to the end back and forth and um, I'll see you in a minute when you're finished that. I've completed sewing the back up here and um, I have not um, weaved in this tail yet. I like to leave it all to the very end just in case there's some reason that pops up that I have to undo it because as soon as it's weaved in, it's almost impossible to um, to find those ends again. So just in case I have to undo anything, I just leave all my tails to the very end. So we're gonna, it doesn't actually matter if you have it on the right side or wrong side for this part, but I'm gonna put it on to the right side. You can see how that definition is just a bit stronger on this side than this side. Okay, so you can see here too, I have this, um, because of the, the way that the stitches fall, you can see that diagonal a little bit, but it's actually, it's really not too bad. And if you've blocked yours, it will be even better. So I'm gonna take my working yarn here, and what we're gonna do is on the wrong side, I'm going to be alternating a half double crochet and a half double crochet two together. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working into the end of the rows. So we have our alternating half double crochet row and then double crochet row, half double crochet, um, double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to place one half double crochet into the first row and then we're going to half double crochet the next two rows together. So let's let's just do this. So I'm going to chain one and I'll half double crochet into that first row, into the end of the first row. And it doesn't matter um, exactly where you put it, but try and just be consistent. So there's the first one. Now I'm going to have to double crochet the next two rows together. And um, I have a little secret. My I don't do my half double crochets exactly as you're supposed to. So I'll show you how I do them. Um, so yarn over into the end of this row here. Pull up a loop. And I'm not going to yarn over. I'm just going to go into the end of the next row too. So into the end of that row and pull up a loop. And I'm just gonna yarn over and pull through all of the loops. Okay, so I've done one, the end of one row of half double crochet. Now into the end of the next two rows. Now I'm gonna go into the end of the next row, which is a double crochet row. So I just place one half double crochet there. And now I'm gonna work into the end of the next two rows, which is a half double crochet and then a double crochet row. So yarn over into the end of that row, pull up a loop, into the end of the next row, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So what we're doing is we're decreasing the amount of stitches around the bottom of of the bonnet so that it makes it nice and tight around the neck and it just has a better shape. So you're gonna just do this to the very um, to the very end. So alternate a half double crochet into the end of the row, half double crochet two together into the end of the next two rows. You do that all the way around. Um, and then I'll come back when that is finished and show you what happens next. I'm at the end of this row and um, this decrease row and I actually have 
one stitch left or one row left over. So I've done the, this is a half, half double crochet. This is the two together, half double crochet. So I would have two together, but because of the number um, of rows I ended up with, it's not working out evenly and that's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna place just one more half double crochet into the end of this last row. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom of the bonnet has become quite gathered and it's taking shape really nicely now. So what we're gonna add at the bottom now is a ribbed, a ribbed edging. And this is gonna be a half double crochet ribbed edging. So we're gonna be working now back along into these stitches that we just made. And our first um, thing we do is going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to remind you that if to, to know exactly all the instructions and um, the stitch counts for the size you're making, you need to go to themallhole.com and find um, the Rudy bonnet. There, so you can follow along. So we have our five stitches. I'm going to half double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. So that's one, two, that's going to be the third one there. So I'll yarn over, half double crochet into that third chain, and I'm going to half double crochet into the next two chains. So yarn over have to have crochet into that chain and half double crochet into the next chain. Okay, so this is going to be the ribbing and it's going to go all along the bottom. But what we have to do is we have to attach it to the bottom and by to do this, I'm going to do two slip stitches in a row. So I'll slip stitch into the first and the second stitches. So you go directly into the stitch, pull up a loop, and then pull through. That's one. Into the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through. So now we're going to work into the back loops only of these half double crochets but I have to skip those first two slip stitches. So that one and that one. And um, cause if I add it, if I worked into those, we would have too many, we would not have only three stitches for our ribbing and we only ever want to have three. All right, so I'm going to skip, hold on. I'm going to skip the two slip stitches. It's one, let me say one, two, and I'll work into the back loop only of the next three half double crochets. One, into the back loop only. Two, oh, I didn't put, I was doing a single crochet. So back loop only. And this last one, Make sure you grab that back loop only. Okay, now we're going to chain just one and we're going to turn and now we're going to work down, down the ribbing. So back loops only in the next um, three half double crochets. So back loop only one back loop only two, and back loop only three. Now we do slip stitch into the next two stitches to attach to the bottom of the bonnet. So slip stitch and slip stitch. So what's going to happen is we're going to have one row of ribbing for each stitch along. 
Um, I've seen some beginners make the mistake and they have too many rows of ribbing and then it, what happens is it just gets really bunched up. So just make sure that you only have one row of ribbing for each, um, for each stitch along the bottom. So I will see you back when we have finished all along the bottom here. So just remember, skip the two slip stitches and always work into the back loop only of the half double crochets. I have finished my um, half double crochet ribbing here. I've made sure that I'm ending, um, I've ended on a row two, which means I'm at the bottom of of the ribbing here, not at the top. You have to make sure you're at the bottom. And um, if you have to just put an extra, one extra row in or one last row so that you end up at on a row two, that's absolutely fine too. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna work all the way around um, the front part. And we're gonna be doing a single crochet ribbing, which is the same idea as the half double crochet ribbing is just much thinner. What it's going to do is it's going to pull in these stitches around the face. So we're going to chain six because we are having five single crochets in the ribbing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook. So here's the first one, here's the second one, I'm gonna work into that one. So we'll always have a total of five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So there's my first row and we're not working into rows anymore, we're working into stitches. So we will do two slip stitches into the first and the second so, stitch. So, sorry, that's a total of two, one slip stitch into each stitch. So first stitch, slip stitch, second stitch, slip stitch. And like um, the half double crochet ribbing, you will skip those slip stitches and work into the back loop only of each of the single crochets. So I'm going to skip, oh, that's quite hard to see, but skip one, two, and then I'll work into the back, yeah, the back loop of that single crochet. So skip the two slip stitches, work into the back loop only of this each single crochet. So one, two, three, four, And I will chain one, turn. So now I'm gonna be working down the ribbing into the back loop only. One, two, three, And then slip stitch into the next two stitches. So here's my first one. And now there is my second one. That's the first um, It's a bit tight there because that's where we joined with a slip stitch for that bottom ribbing. 
All right, so back loop, so turn, skip the two slip stitches, work in the back loops only. So you'll do that all the way around the bottom, or the, the front of the bonnet. You'll have one row of ribbing for each stitch all the way around. And then it's going to pull that um, nicely in around the face and create a beautiful ribbed edge. So I will see you in a little bit when you're finished that and then we are going to do our straps. I have finished my um, half double crochet ribbing here. I've made sure that I'm ending, um, I've ended on a row two, which means I'm at the bottom of, of the ribbing here, not at the top. You have to make sure you're at the bottom. And um, if you have to just put an extra, one extra row in or one last row so that you end up at, on a row two, that's absolutely fine too. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to work all the way around um, the front part. And we're going to be doing a single crochet ribbing, which is the same idea as the half double crochet ribbing. It's just much thinner. What it's going to do is it's going to pull in these stitches around the face. So we're going to chain six because we are having five single crochets in the ribbing. So one two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook. So here's the first one, here's the second one, I'm going to work into that one. So we'll always have a total of five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So there's my first row. And we're not working into rows anymore, we're working into stitches. So we will do two slip stitches into the first and the second so, stitch. So, sorry, that's a total of two one slip stitch into each stitch. So first stitch, slip stitch, second stitch, slip stitch. And like um, the half double crochet ribbing, you will skip those slip stitches and work into the back loop only of each of the single crochets. So I'm gonna skip, oh, that's quite hard to see, but Skip one, two, and then I'll work into the back. Yeah, the back loop of that single crochet. So skip the two slip stitches, work into the back loop only of this each single crochet. So one, two, four five and I will chain one turn so now I'm going to be working down the ribbing into the back loop only one two, three, four, five, and then slip stitch into the next two stitches. So here's my first one. And now there is my second one. That's the first. Um, it's a bit tight there because that's where we joined with a slip stitch for that bottom ribbing. 
All right, so back loop, so turn, skip the two slip stitches, work in the back loops only. So you'll do that all the way around the bottom, or the, the front of the bonnet. You'll have one row of ribbing for each stitch all the way around. And then it's going to pull that um, nicely in around the face and create a beautiful ribbed edge. So I will see you in a little bit when you're finished that and then we are going to do our straps. I have completed my front ribbing here and now it's time to make the straps. Um, I've ended on a row two so that it's right on the on the end of um, the bonnet um, ribbing and I'm going to be chaining fifth oh sorry 45 um, chains so um, this is just really simple we'll chain 45 one two three or I'll see you back here in a minute when I'm finished my chain. So here's our completed chain and I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So this is our first chain from the hook and I'll go into the second, into that second chain and I'm going to single crochet into each um, each chain until I have um, my strap all the single crochets um, into the chain it just makes the chain um, the strap just slightly thicker than if we left it as chains but I have done um, straps with just chains too that it does work but I just felt like this one needed um, a single crochet chain or strap so you'll do that all the way to the end to the end back to the bonnet there and then I'll see you in a minute when that is all finished so I've completed my um, strap here and single crocheted right to the last chain. Now I'm gonna just leave us a little bit of a tail and I'm gonna um, cut my yarn. So break yarn. So you can see here's the strap and it's a bit loose there. So when I'm weaving in my ends at the very end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little strap here to attach that end, that little end of the strap to the bottom of the, um, sorry, to the side of the ribbing here, because then it's gonna be um, just attached instead of um, hanging off like that. So I'll just use my needle And um, actually, so you could either attach it to the front of the ribbing here, or you could attach it at the bottom um, there. I think that's what I will do is I'll attach it to the bottom part of that, that ribbing, um, that front ribbing. Let me just show you. So let's turn it around. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I will do. I'm going to attach it right here to the bottom part instead of that way. But you could do it that way if you wanted. It doesn't really matter. Just do both of them the same. All right, let's go to the next strap. Oh my gosh, I've just dumped my yarn into my tea. Whoops. All right, I've <laughs> cut that wet bit off. So the way I like to do it to join the yarn is I'm going to do slip knot and I'm going to join my yarn to the end of that first um, row of front ribbing. So I'm going to put my hook through, then I'm going to grab, so I've put my th hook through there, 
I'm gonna grab this yarn and I'm gonna pull through and just tighten this up. And now we'll start my chain. And you're gonna do this um, strap exactly the same. So you'll chain however many chains you need. I'm doing 45. Um, but for your size, it might be a bit more. And then I'll chain that number and then single crochet just like we did with the other strap. And then you will um, break your yarn and then you'll be finished and you'll just have a few ends to weave in. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial of the Rudy Bonnet and um, make sure that you tag your Rudy Bonnets um, on Instagram. So just tag me in your photos because I love to see them. So happy crocheting and we'll see you again soon. Just in case you wanted a little um, help with weaving in ends, I'm going to just show you. Um, I always like to use a needle that actually has a bit of a um, tip on the end because I find it easier to um, just get the yarn um, nice and tightly woven in. But you can use, um, oh, is it called a dart? I don't know what the other needles are called, but with the um, not sharp bit too. Um, lots of times they're quite thick in plastic, but I like these ones better. So I'm gonna just um, thread my needle. Okay, so we've ended up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go backwards into the seam and then come back forwards again. And I'm just gonna hide that yarn into the seam that's already there. Just a few times back and forth. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back up again. And I like to go not just into the stitches, I like to go through the yarn um, because then I find it won't, it doesn't come out that way. And maybe one more time for good luck. And one more time. Wait, I just know that it's not gonna unravel. And this is a part where you have to make sure it's you don't want it to unravel. You don't want to unravel it. And then I'll just um, cut the end off. Okay, so that that's our back seam of the bonnet. And here I will. Okay, so we talked about this already, but I'm going to put this. Okay, this is this is the front ribbing, and I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. So I'm going to just sew it on to the bottom of that front ribbing. Okay, so let's just line it up here, line it up. I'm gonna go through, and now it's attached, and then we'll just come back. I'm gonna just go back and forth, just making sure I'm catching the bottom of the bonnet and the strap so that it doesn't come out. Oops. Okay, that looks, that looks okay. And then I'm still gonna sort of weave in this end a little bit. So I like to do all my weaving as much as possible on the wrong side. So I'm just gonna go couple times back and forth in here like that okay it's 
seems quite secure now and now I'll cut at the end and this is all done on the wrong side of the bonnet so if I turn it out there it looks really nice and clean and it's attached nicely to that front ribbing So then you can continue and do the same thing on the other side, but you'll have two to weave in because this is where we've where where we have joined the yarn. So that's how I weave in my bonnet ends.